Good morning, boys and girls! Guess who? It's me, Buggy the Clown! And this morning, we have a special cartoon for you! You're gonna enjoy this! Come on, boys and girls, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show! <laughs> you're into fun and you love to play if you like funny jokes they put you away if you like to dance to a slamming sound and you like having lots of friends around and if you're one of those kids who lives by the rule that sad is bad and happy is cool oh little buddy you're about to see you're in the very best place that you could be hey it's lamb chops play along with kids come to play along and fun things are all we ever do yeah it's lamb chops play Join the kids and play along. We got a lot of good stuff for you. Make a muscle, squeeze it tight. Really squeeze with all your might. Now the other arm. Let me see just how strong you've grown to be. Make two muscles left and right. Come on and pump it up. Out of sight. Hey, you're getting strong. <laughs> now let's go back to the song. Lamb chops, play along with kids. Come Yeah, and especially you. Here's a betcha that's easy. If you know how. Hmm. I'm starting with six coins. You want to see my six coins? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six coins. Now, making two rows of three coins each is easy. See? Two rows. One, two rows. Three coins each. One, two, three. One, two, three. But you say to your friends or your teacher, I bet you I can make two rows of four coins each using just these six coins. And your friends or your teacher will say, uh-uh, no way, you can't do that. And then you say, here's how. One, two, three, and you put another coin over the corner one. And then you move these down here. And now you have two rows of four coins each. Let's count. One, two, three three four and here you have one two three four two rows of four coins each now of course I want to prepare you because there's another way to do it too and somebody might figure that out so take another look you make a cross there we go and you have one two three one two three and here's how you turn it into two rows of four coins each you put one in the middle on top of the one that's already in the middle. And now it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two rows of four coins each. Two different ways to do the same betcha. Oh my goodness! Do you know what that is? Yes, yeah, sure! What is it? It's da 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 Hush puppy, hush puppy, hush puppy. Do you know the name of that piece? Uh, yes. Uh, no. No. Okay, listen. Sure, I know what that is. Yeah, what is it? That is the favorite tune in Function Junction, Arkansas, where my family comes from. That's the favorite tune? Yeah, well, what's the name of it? Turkey in the straw. Turkey in the straw? Da da dum, da da dum, da da dum, dum dum is not Turkey in the straw. It is the harmony for Turkey in the straw. The harmony? Yeah, push the button and listen. Just the other day I saw a little turkey in the straw. He was out there sitting with his ma and pa. Just the cutest little bird I ever saw. So I ate him for my dinner and he ate no more. Yum diddly dum dum. Yahoo! Oh, hush. Yeah.
Gonna tell you a tale you probably know about a man and a boy many years ago. Maybe the music will ring a bell. It's the overture to will you tell. I heard this on the radio. They called it the Lone Ranger Show about a man and a horse, but I knew darn well there was no one named William Tell. Yes, they don't have any culture back in Function Junction, Arkansas. When I was a pup, we got Green Acres and we got Hee Haw. You don't realize it's a tale that every person's always had around. You don't realize I ain't no person, Sherry. I'm a hound. It's a piece I was born and bred on. I know it quite well. Well, one thing you better bet on, it ain't William Tell. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. You must agree. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. You can't fool me. How would you know? I heard that show and it played it on the radio. With a hearty, ha ho, silver, the masked man rides and games. Stop it, I just can't stand it. This is based on history. Don't you see? It took place in the 14th century. Now I can understand. Now I know just why you care about this whole old affair. You look probably dead. Puppy, I've had quite enough. I've really had my fill. Yes, I lost my head. One more like that, and boy, you will. Now, William wanted Switzerland, his homeland, to be free. But it was ruled by Austria, his country's enemy. He would not recognize the foreign governor as the head. So William Tell was captured. To him, the governor said, They say with a bow and arrow, you can hit the smallest fly, penetrate a needle's eye. This I'd like to see. I want you to take your son and place an apple on his head. If your arrow hits that apple, I will set you free. What a dumb idea to use an itsy bitsy apple. What a dope. He should have used a watermelon or a cantaloupe. He had to obey the governor's orders, puppy. Don't you understand? Besides, they don't have any watermelons there in Switzerland. That kid would be out of danger without any doubt. If he telephoned the low ranger to come help him out. Hey, Dondo, where's the guy with the mask? Tell prepared his bow with care, shot his arrow through the air, hit that apple perfectly, then they had a second free, and that's the overture. The overture to what? To William Tell Rossini's opera. I never heard that opera. They never do the opera, they only play the overture. I'm really not surprised. I knew that I was right. What do you mean you're right? That's the Lone Ranger sound. You're wrong, it's William Tell. Oh, no, it's not. I see the plot. I got the answer, Sherry. William Tell is really the Lone Ranger in disguise. Oh. Why do you think he wore that mask? Tell you the truth, I'm afraid to ask. I give up. Why the mask? Well, have you ever seen the two of them together? William Tell and the Lone Ranger? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. That's because the two of them are really both the same. So why the fight? You mean we both are right? With a hearty high or silver. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> um, knock, knock. Who's there? William Tell. William Tell who? William Tell everybody to go away. <sighs> hey, sorry. What up? What up? Yeah, that's the totally cool way of saying what's new. Oh, why don't you just say what's new? Because that would be totally uncool. Oh, and you wouldn't want to be that. No, not after it's taken me a whole week to get cool. A whole week? That long? Yeah, cool doesn't come overnight, you know. But now you're cool. Yeah, well, I would be really cool if I looked cool. What are you talking about? Oh, look at me, Sally. What? I mean, I look like a hand-me-down from Will Miss Muffet. You do not. Okay, Will Bo Peep. I mean, everybody cool is wearing denim jackets. Oh, 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 I get it. This whole discussion is about denim jackets. I thought you'd never catch on. I'd like to point out to you, you are wearing a denim jacket. Yeah, but this one is just not happening. What? It's out of style, Sherry. Everybody cool is wearing a denim jacket with patches. This has holes. Holes, patches. All right, I could just sew patches over the holes. I'd rather die. Oh, does your best friend, Lolly Pincus, have a denim jacket with patches? My best friend, Lolly Pincus, does not have a cool bone in her body. Why not? Because you 
either got cool or you don't got cool. Well, you know, darling, you do need some new clothes. Maybe for your birthday, I'll buy you a denim jacket with patches. Yeah, by then it won't be cool anymore. And I'll be out of the in crowd. The in crowd? The in crowd. There's an in crowd in grade one. There's also an out crowd. And that's the crowd I don't want to be in. I see. What happened to nice, ordinary, plain, good kids? They're out. Out. Well, in or out, hot or cool. I'm not in the mood to buy you another denim jacket with patches at this moment. How about as an early birthday present? Perhaps. Who's that? Oh, it must be my new best friend, Courtney. Come in, Courtney! Ooh, this house is totally awesome and incredibly cool to the max, for sure. So you know, uh, Courtney, for sure. Oh, boy, alpha tones. This is the number seven, and this is the letter Z. Hey, how do you keep from tipping over? It's not easy. Sherry, what's the out crowd? The out crowd? Why do you ask? Because that's what Landschild says I am in. I say, yeah, I'm so proud. I always wanted to belong to something. Oh, <laughs> well, as long as you're happy. Yo, you know, Sherry. I'm. Don't you look pretty? Like for sure. <laughs> Who doesn't know that? Hey, Lanny Chopper, you wanna go play with me? No, nothing personal. But you're just not cool enough for me to be seen with. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's ridiculous. I mean, who could be cooler than Hush Puppy? Oh, there's a lot of people that's cooler than me, Sherry. There's uh, Freddy, Dilly, Myron, Janie, Larry, Susie, Johnny. That's quite enough. Oh, no, there's more. There's a... Uh, Willie, Frankie, Dwayne, Lynn. I got the picture. Yeah, but you left out Michael, Barney, Shirley, Hillary, Jessica. All right, all right, all right. Just because you and your girlfriends happen to have cool jackets. Oh. This old thing? Whoa, what do you mean, this old thing? We just bought that for you yesterday. I thought that was in. Now it's out. Oh. oh, that must be Courtney. Oh, shall I go let her in? She's already in. Oh, hello. Like, for sure. Say, isn't my new outfit, like, totally rad? Oh, it's cool to the max. Yeah, <laughs> like, totally. Yeah, I know why they call your new jacket cool. Why? Because we're all in holes. You're never going to need air conditioning. Uh, excuse me. Isn't that the same kind of jacket that you were wearing yesterday? The outer style one that you gave to Lolly Pincus? I didn't know Lolly had this jacket. I'm going to her house. Later, do that. Oh. Ooh. I guess in is out or something. If ever you're at that and you can feel yourself begin to choke, just step out of the box, straighten your socks, and tell yourself a joke. Uh, Ryan, uh, Philip, uh, all you guys out there in television land, uh, my friend Jade here, she's got a joke. What's up? Is it a funny joke? Yeah. Oh, good. Let me hear it, Jade. What time is it when a gorilla sits on your watch? What time is it when the gorilla sits on your watch? Uh, shall we tell her? It's time, time to, to get, get a, a new watch. watch. What up? Yeah. I'm talking your language. I'm being cool. Give it up, Charlie. That cool stuff isn't cool anymore. Ah. Oh. And after I went to all the trouble to learn to say, for sure. Sorry. What? Would you excuse me? I have to go to my room. Hey, hey. What's the matter, darling? I'm not in the in crowd anymore. What? I'm out of the in crowd. L Lamp, Lamp Chop. Lamp Chop, what about your friend, 
Courtney and all the other cool girls. Oh, sorry they dumped me. Now Lolly Pink is just Courtney's best friend. <laughs> Boy, you kids trade friends like, like baseball cards. Come in. <laughs> what are you doing here, Lolly Pinkus? Oh, oh, I want to be best friends again. Really? Huh? Yeah, but what happened to Courtney? I thought you were Courtney's best friend. Oh, no. I couldn't afford it. She keeps buying new jackets. Oh, you see, real friends don't, <gasps> don't care what you wear or whether you're cool or not cool. Real friends care who you are. Oh, yes. And I love Lammy. Oh, I thank think Lamb you, Chuck Lally. And I, we should start our own club. Yes, yes, our own club, and anybody could join, right, Lolly? And and yeah. it wouldn't matter if you're in or you're out or you're hot or you're cool or or, or what is it? Oh. Hey, Sherry, baby, <laughs> thanks for the new leather jacket. Boy, hush puppy in your new leather jacket. You look cool. Yeah. I do? Totally. Oh, that is weird. <laughs> Why? Because in my new leather jacket, I am hot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's betcha time, it's betcha time. And though I've never met ya, I know something you can't do. I betcha, betcha, betcha. I'll teach you how to do what I propose. Ready, set, here goes. This is a piece of paper. You really needed me to tell you that, right? This is a little piece of paper that I just cut, and it's what you need to do this betcha. First of all, Lauren, you were so good at balancing that a moment ago. Excellent, my dear. You balance a piece of paper on a glass, and you say to your friends, I betcha, that without jarring or shaking the table, without touching the glass or the piece of paper, without blowing or fanning on the paper, I can get that paper to fall off the end of the glass. Do you have any idea how to do that? No. Nope. Well, then I'll show you. What you do is you take a soda straw and a handkerchief or a paper napkin, and you rub the soda straw. You're supposed to rub for five seconds. One locomotive, two locomotives, three locomotive, four locomotive, five locomotives. And then you hold it right near the straw. Did you see that? I didn't touch the piece of paper with the straw, did I? No. Would you like to know why that happened? Why? As you're rubbing it, you're creating what's called static electricity. And it's just like regular electricity in that it crackles. And the invisible electricity crackles enough to knock it into the glass. It's crackling good fun. You'll get a lot of laughter, I've no doubt. If you'll only try it out. I am so excited. Why? Because in a couple of minutes, I'm going to get to hold an opossum. Ah! What's a possum? Opossum. Oh, yeah. What is it? An opossum is a marsupial. You put it in soup? No, no. Well, there are people who eat opossum, but... This little fella happens to live in the San Diego Zoo. So why did you say soup? I didn't say soup. Yeah, no, I said marsupial. What's that? A marsupial is an animal like a kangaroo, you know, that has a built-in pocket. My overalls have a built-in pocket, but they're Levi's, not marsupials. Oh. <laughs> you, you tell me stories about all the animals. Yeah. You never, ever told me a story about opossum. That's because I only know one story that even vaguely mentions an opossum. Tell me. Oh, no, honey. It's, it's, a, it's an early American Christmas story. I'll consider it a present. <laughs> it's just a one-minute story. You got a minute. They got a minute. You got a minute. All right. All right, I'll tell you the story. What is this story called? Here it is. It's called The First Christmas at Hollow Tree Inn. 
Moon, Crow, and Possum lived at Hollow Tree, and Mr. Dog, their neighbor, visited often and told them what went on at the human's house where he lived. Once he talked about Santa Claus coming and filling the children's stockings with presents. Well, Raccoon, Crow, and Possum decided that they wanted Santa to fill their stockings with presents, too. Of course, Mr. Dog knew that Santa only comes to the human's house, but he didn't say anything. Next day, he bought a lot of presents. Then he went up to the human's attic, and he found a Santa suit. It didn't fit him, but he put it on anyway. And late Christmas Eve, he tiptoed into the hollow tree inn, and he filled the three stockings hanging there. And then Mr. Dog sat down on the rocking chair to rest for a minute. Well, the next morning, Raccoon, Crow, and Possum were thrilled to see that their stockings had been filled by Santa, and Santa was still right there, asleep in the rocking chair. When they woke Mr. Dog up, he took off his beard, and everybody agreed that the first Christmas at the Hollow Tree Inn was a great success. Did you like it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, tell me what you thought of the story. It was really fast. This is Pockets the opossum, and opossums are the only North American marsupials. Now, what do you think a marsupial is? I'll give you a hint. Her name is Pockets. She has a, where is it? A pocket. Can you see my finger is in her pocket? It's like a kangaroo. Can you see that? Oh, she, she doesn't, apparently doesn't like my finger in her pocket. I, I apologize, darling. Oh, God, are you beautiful? Now, guess what goes into that pocket? 13 babies, as many as 13 babies. And when they're born, they're the size of a Rice Krispie. How can you imagine? And um, she has amazing grip. Look, can you see that? I, it's like a baby times 10. I cannot get my finger away, nor do I want to. Uh, yes, now I do. Take a look at the bottom foot. She has an opposing thumb. That means that just as, see that thumb? I hold it so you can really see it. See, is, you got a good shot of that? You see, just like you can go like this and hold things between your thumb and your finger, that's what she does. She doesn't choose to do it at this moment. But there's her thumb and there are her fingers, and she can grip stuff. She can also grip stuff with her prehensile tail. Prehensile tail? Where's your, she's gripping my pocket. There's her prehensile tail. Can you see, I'm holding her body so that she's supported, but she can support herself for a short time by gripping with this tail. Oh, she's sniffing me, she's so sweet. You are adorable. I'm gonna feed you some of the gooey meat behind. How would you like to eat this disgusting stuff? Oops, flat hand, Sherry. Always feed an animal with a flat hand. Learn from my example what not to do. There, ouch! Oh, you've got sharp teeth. That was a piece of fish and a piece of meat. And now I want to say thank you to the San Diego Wild Animal Park for sharing possum heaven with me. This is Pockets the Opossum. Oh, goody, alpha balloons. This is an I. And this is a letter C. I, C. Icy! Hey, we're icy! <laughs> you know what I think we should do? What? I think we should play a game with everybody out there. How can we do that? What do you mean? We're here and they're there. Yeah, we don't even know what they're there looks like. Well, let's find out. How can we do that? Well, why don't we play the what do you see game? What do you do? Now, what do you see? Now, what do you do to play what do you see? Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. I will ask a question yeah. like, um, what do you see around your house that is soft? A bed. What? A bed. Yeah, good, good. Uh, of course, their answer may be different. Why? They don't have a bed? Yeah, they've got a bed, but maybe they're not in the room with a bed. They may be in a room, as we are, with a sofa that's soft. Or a teddy bear that is squishy. Right, Hush Puppy, or a squishy teddy bear. So when we play What Do You See, Lamb Chop and Charlie Horse and Hush Puppy are going to call out what they see in this room. But since your room is different, what you shout out will be different, okay? Yeah, but my answers are all right. No, 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 all answers are all right. All right, all right. Let's play. Oh, good. This is like a treasure hunt. Yeah, it is. Come on, play along. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a little game anyone can play. Just tell me what you see that matches what I say. Lamb Chop and the guys <laughs> are gonna play it too. And they will give it all they got, and so should you. Looking all around, yeah. tell me what do you see that's brown? Lamb Chop, the piano. Good. Charlie. 
football. And what about you at home? Oh, that's a good answer. Uh -huh. Looking wall to wall, tell me what do you see that's small? Hush, puppy. My penny. Lamb chop. The eraser on my pencil. Now you at home. Oh, that is small. What do you see that's kind of smooth? Lamb chop? The top of the table. What do you see where you can hide? Charlie horse? Under the table. How do you see that you turn on every time the sun is gone and it starts getting pretty dark outside? The light! The electric light. Flash light, flash light! Ooh. Now looking left and right, tell me what do you see that's white? Lamb chop? Me. My fleece is white as snow. <laughs> what about you at home? Oh, that's a good answer. Tell me what you see that you sit on frequently. Lamb chop. My bottom. <laughs> Hush, puppy. My chair. Now you at home. You sit on that? What do you see that's filled with words? Lamb chop. My book. Tell me a real good place to play. Hush, puppy. Behind the chair. What do you see that's on the wall? Not too big and not too small. That's up there hanging every single day. A mirror. A hook. Uh, a picture. A picture. Now just close your eyes and please try to visualize what you would like to grow to be someday. Lamb chop. Either a disc jockey or the president of the United States. Whoa. How about you? What would you like to be, huh? Well, believe in what you see. And that's what you might someday grow to be. I like it, I like it, I like it. Ooh. This is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that doesn't end. Oh, no. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. That's enough, guys. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that This is the song that... Charlie Horse! No, no, stop, stop, stop. Charlie, stop. I want you to go away. Go away. And don't slam the... Door. Funding for this program was provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. If you're into fun and you love to play. If you like funny jokes, they put you away. If you like to dance to a slamming sound and you like having lots of friends around. And if you're one of those kids who lives by the rule that sad is bad and happy is cool. Ooh, little buddy, you're about to see you're in the very best place that you could be. Hey, it's Lamb Chops. Play along with kids. Come to play along in fun things and all. kids and play along. We got a lot of good stuff for you. Make a muscle, squeeze it tight. 
Really squeeze with all your might. Now the other arm. Let me see just how strong you've grown to be. Make two muscles left and right. Come on and pump it up. Out of sight. Hey, you're getting strong. <laughs> now let's go back to this song. Lamb chops, play along with kids. Come Especially you. Ladies and gentlemen, I got Charlie, what are you doing? Oh, well, you know, I'd, I'd really like to do a magic trick. Which one? Sawing a man in half. Oh, do it, do it, do it. I can't. Why not? I don't have a man. Oh, but you, you don't need a man. You could use, um, like a rope. Yeah, but I don't have a rope. All I got is my book of rope tricks. Well, if you've got this book of rope tricks, you've got a rope. How's that for a trick? <laughs> and you know, Charlie Ross, instead of putting the man, uh, the person, into a box, you know how they always put somebody into a box to saw them in half? We're going to use a card. It's just an ordinary card. And instead of one of those big saws, I wouldn't want to hold one of those, we'll just use a pair of scissors. Okay? Okay. I often thought that it might be fun to make a man too instead of one and so i bought a book on how to saw a man in half there's really nothing to it anyone can do it you gotta take a man and put him in a box any old box will do now that's really the first step in sawing a man in two next you take a saw you know a saw is all you need for you to perform the old magician's <laughs> 30 D. Well, now that you've had your fun and made one, two out of one, I'd say that the nice thing to do would be to make one man out of two. Say a magic word or two Make a wish and then You'll find that the rope is suddenly whole again And if it isn't quick Try another trick Awesome! This is a poem about a girl named Mary Rose. She had two names, Mary and Rose. You know what I mean? Okay, you ready for my poem? <clears throat> <clears throat> Mary Rose sat on a pin. Mary Rose. Oh, you get it? <laughs> I'm choppy. Good morning, shall we? May I give you a wonderful breakfast of egg sausages, toast, and coffee? No, thank you. It's very sweet of you, but I've already had my breakfast. How about a mint? A mint? Yeah, no, that will be fine, thank you. Ice cream, cantaloupe, soda cracker? No, I've had enough. Oh, then may I take your order for lunch? Okay. What's going on? Can't a person even be nice without you being suspicious? You know, darling, there's nice, and then there's nice, and then there's so nice it makes you suspicious. You mean this is the nicest I have ever been, right? You have never been this nice before. So far. Uh, well, I hope it's a trend. Yeah, you better get used to it, because from now on, I'm going to be so nice. So nice, you're going to think Mr. Rogers is a meanie. <laughs> oh, there you are. A beautiful flower for a beautiful lady. Well, thank you, Charlie. Yeah, you like it, huh? Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, well, there's lots more where this comes from. Mrs. Sheltime's garden is full of them. You shouldn't have picked a flower from Mrs. Sheltime's garden. Oh, there's no trouble at all. You want a hollyhock? She's got a ton of them on her front porch. Charlie, you don't pick flowers from somebody else's yard. Hey, it's okay. No problem. I'll just go scotch tape it back to the bush. 
Don't worry, my feelings What are is fine. going on? On? Where's on? What's on? Nothing's on. <sighs> well, I done it. You did it. How do you know? You just told me. How do you like that? I can't even keep my own secrets. Um, um, what did you do? I thought you knew. No, I was just correcting your grammar. Don't do that. That just confuses me. All right, start again. Well, I done it. What did you done di did do? What did you do? I washed and polished and scrubbed the purple station wagon with the white wall tires. You're gonna thank me from today until tomorrow. Hush puppy, we don't have a purple station wagon with white wall tires. You scrubbed and polished the next door neighbor, Mr. Brown's car. Oh, I'll see you later. Where are you going? Next door, so Mr. Brown can thank me. <laughs> oh. Oh, boy, alpha tones. This is an eight, and this is a zero. A zero is an eight that lost its head. Funny, I'm sure I had it when I came in this morning. I called this meeting, yeah, yeah, because I do appreciate you kids acting so nice to me today. Yeah. Mm. I only have one question. Yeah? Why? What? what? Well, for me, I mean, I think you're really nice, you know? And I know that you wouldn't do anything to hurt me if I did something wrong. That's the way I feel. Amen! Hurt you? Something wrong? We don't want you to think it has anything to do with our principal, Mr. Swanson, coming over tonight. Mm -mm. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Oh, what an idea. idea. <laughs> coming here? Yeah, we were as surprised as you were. Yeah, he said it was something awfully important. He said that to you? Uh, no, no, that's what he wrote in the letter that he gave me to give you. Uh -oh. You opened my letter? Oh, no. Old Jolly Horse, he wouldn't do a thing like that. No, of course <laughs> no. not. He just held it up to the light, you oh. know? Well, you know, oh. it must be something very serious if he's coming to make a house call. Yeah, I I'm sure it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that I didn't turn in my homework one night. What night was that? Yeah, and, and I'm sure it has nothing to do with the fact that I missed one little spelling test. Spelling test? And I don't think it's because I stuck gum under my desk. Yeah. Well, if it's not any of those things, none of which I knew about and which we'll talk about later, why is Mr. Swanson coming here? Maybe he's lonely. <laughs> Give me a knock knock joke. Don't knock a knock knock joke. They're always dumb. So tell me how come? After one, the laugh will bubble up. After four, I always double up. Don't be an old slow poke. Give me a knock knock joke, please. Hey, Lamb Chop. Hey, Lindsay. I have a knock knock joke for I you. Love I'm crazy for knock knock jokes. Tell me your knock knock joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Scold. Scold? Who? Scold outside, let me in. Scold outside, let me in. <laughs> it's not bad. I love a knock knock joke. Well, Mr. Swanson is going to be here any minute. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Think about something, oh. Charlie Horse. I was thinking about joining the Coast Guard and shipping out. Yeah, well, I'm changing my name, so he won't even know who I am. I got it. Let's chip in with our allowances and send him on a trip around the world. Uh, yeah. yeah. No. <gasps> oh. oh, maybe if we don't answer it, he'll go away. That's a great idea. Anybody home? Oh, Principal Swanson. The door was open. Oh, oh. good evening, children. Is Sherry home? I, I think, I think, I think that Sherry left. Yeah, she left to go mountain climbing in Pennsylvania. Really? Oh, yeah, right. She had her boots, her sleeping bag, and a pickaxe all strapped to her back. Man, what a fast trip that must have been. I just saw Sherry upstairs polishing her nails. Oh, well, then, I'll just sit down and wait. Oh, yeah, do mm. sit down, sir. I guess it's very important for you to see Sherry. 
Right? Yes, it's very important. Uh, it wouldn't have anything to do with us. Would it? As a matter of fact, it has everything to do with you. What, what, what? Hey, Charlie Horse, how old do you have to be to join the Coast Guard? Is that Principal Swanson? Oh, hello. I, I didn't hear the bell. I let myself in. Oh, I'm glad. Uh, you wanted to talk with me, sir. Yes, I wanted to speak to you about your children. Oh, no. Uh-oh, here it comes. <laughs> oh, shh. Yes, what do you want to say? Well, it's so difficult to bring up children these days. I didn't do it, and I'll never do it again. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And one has so little control. Oh, I hope you'll give me another chance. The children so often go wrong. You know, I will never, ever chew gum again. And mm. it's so hard for a parent to know what to do. Yes. But you have done a fine job. Your children are just great. What did he say? Oh, he oh. said something. Mm. What did he oh. say? He said, we said we're good. Great is what he said. Yeah. Great, we're great. Yeah. Great. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, we are the greatest. Mm -hmm. I must say, this Great. is very nice. Mm -hmm. Now, I must be on my way. Goodbye, Sherry. Goodbye. Goodbye, Billy, Jane, and Bobby. Mm -hmm. Bye. Mm -hmm. Billy, Jane, and Bobby? So, he made a little mistake. Yeah. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay, okay, I got it. I am now going to show you the fastest animal animal in the world. Yep, 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 yep. The fastest animal in the world. Are you ready to see the fastest animal in the world? Watch closely. Want to see it again? It's a funny, 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 funny. It's a funny joke. I have so much trouble talking to people I don't know. What do you mean, trouble? When I talk to total strangers, I get caterpillars in my stomach. You mean butterflies? I'm young. Give them time. Oh, well, if you really have trouble talking to people you don't know... I do. Well, then what you ought to do is practice making conversations with people you do know. Like who? Um, Charlie Horse. What should I say? Well, you treat him like a total stranger and you ask him how he feels. Was he sick? No, no, that's polite. How do you feel? I'm fine, thank you. No, that's what you say. Oh. And you, um, let him talk about himself? Let him, huh? Try and stop him. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And, you know, my mother always used to say, an interesting person is a person with interests. Huh? Uh -huh. That means that if you really have trouble, Talking to strangers. I do, I do. Well, then you ought to develop some hobbies. Like what? Coin collecting. Okay. Give me a nickel. I, I mean, rare coins. You think nickels grow on trees? <laughs> um, or, or cooking. Oh, 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 yeah, good one. Why? I could cook. Could you? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Now tell me, what can you cook? Uh, I cook meatballs and... Spaghetti. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I love meatballs and spaghetti. How do you make your meatballs and spaghetti? I take meatballs and spaghetti, and I add ice cream and chocolate, and also some whipped cream, and mustard, and salt and pepper, and vinegar. Hey, that sounds awful. It is. Well, I thought you said you could cook. I didn't say good. I get it. But look, look. Cooking led to a conversation. Oh, yeah, I conversation. You conversation. It's terrific. Well, now, the next time you see Charlie Horse... Yeah. Treat him like a complete stranger and make a conversation with him. Okay, that's what I'll do. Hi, Sherry. Oh. Hi, Lammy. Oh, hi, Charlie Horse. How are you? What luck. Here's Charlie Horse. Now, you can talk to him as though he's a total stranger. Hello. 
total stranger. Mm -hmm. Now, say something complimentary to him to make him feel good. I can see that your skin is cleared up. What? Uh -huh. Yes, say something personal. Are those your teeth? Uh, oh. Lanchup, why don't you tell him something about yourself? Oh, yeah, I just had the measles and I think I'm still contagious. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Now, when you talk to a total stranger, the important thing is to look the person in the eye. No, I mean eye to eye. Could you please remove your nose, Lanchop? Never mind. I'll move mine. Bloop. Uh, uh, a lamp chop. What is it? Beady eyes? Beady eyes. Hey, Sherry, this is enough. 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 Why don't you let her make conversation with those total strangers? I'll see you later. Bye. Uh, was it something I said? No. Charlie's right. You ought to make conversations with them. What should I say? Who are you? I don't know you. Mind if I say hello? You look so nice. And it's such a pleasure to be with you. Now go ahead and talk to them. Um, um, oh, oh, what do I say? Hello, what's your name? Say your name. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's a nice name. And, and, and how about you? You over there with the little pointy feet and the beard. What's your name? What? Rumpelstiltskin? Gee. Is that your first name or your last name? Your last name? What's your first name? Charlie? Charlie Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> when you get older, I would change it. You're going to. Oh, good. To what? Fred? Fred Rumpelstiltskin? Mm-hmm. I like it. Come on and tell me now, who are you? Is your home in Montana or Wyoming. Your turn. What do I do, my turn? Your turn to make conversation. Oh, yeah, go ahead and make conversation. Um, where do you come from? Oh, New York City. Oh, I used to live there. How about you? You, the guy with the blue hair. Jupiter? You come from Jupiter? I didn't think anybody was living on Jupiter. Nobody does. Oh, well, there are all the Jupiter people. Oh, they're here. Whoa, I didn't... How'd you get here? Car? You make me feel so grand Like an Alice in Wonderland Gee, I wish I could shake your hand All we need is an introduction Who are you? Last chance at some good conversation. Oh, okay, good conversation. Um, would you guys please stand up so I could see how tall you are? You are standing. How tall are you? Six inches? <laughs> Where do you live? Under a mushroom? Who are you? I can see that you are quick to agree that now we're friends. And before this ends, Say that we feel closer just knowing who you are. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, yay, it's Alpha Tunes. I'm the letter U, and I can rock. I'm the letter O, and I can roll. Let's rock and roll. You know what? But I think I could tell you a story. Mm -hmm. Would you like to hear a story? Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I would like to hear what story. What story? How about if I tell you the story of the sorcerer's apprentice? Oh, isn't that the story about the sorcerer who had an apprentice? Yes. Oh, how does it end? Very well, thank you. Don't mention it. Well, I won't till we get there. I've already been there. What? I read it. Been there, done that, bought the T-shirt. See you later. Bye. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see it, and I don't have the T-shirt. Would you read it to me? <laughs> I will read it to you, darling. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a sorcerer. Do you know what a sorcerer is? Yes. A sorcerer is the bottom half of a cup and sorcerer. No. I didn't think so. A magician is a sorcerer. Of 
course you are. Right. And this was a wonderful magician. Sorcerer. Same thing. Oh, yeah. Now, this magician had an apprentice. Oh, the poor man. I hope it didn't hurt him too much. What? I once had an apprentice, but I had it removed. You want to see my scar? That was an appendix. Oh, yeah. This was an apprentice. An apprentice is somebody who works for somebody else in order to learn what the expert can do. Oh, yeah. Any fool knows that. And now I know it. Now that didn't come out right. It's okay. The sorcerer's apprentice was really a magician's assistant. And the assistant's name was Fritzel. What's so? Fritzel. Now, this magician had a favorite trick. And that was? He could make his broom do all his work for him. A broom? Yeah. That could work? Right. By itself? That's right. Whenever the sorcerer would clap his hands... Don't clap your hands! What? Every time you clap your hands together, I black out. Oh, I won't do it then. Whenever the sorcerer would clap his hands three times... I'll do that. One, two, three. Good. The broom would grow arms and legs, and the broom would go walking out to the well and bring back buckets full of water. Wow, eh? Well, could Fritzel, the assistant, do this broom trick? No. But Fritzel would stand hidden behind a door, and he would watch the sorcerer do his trick. Well, one day the magician left the house, and he told Fritzel, Fritzel, I want you to wash all the floors in the whole house before I come back. Did Fritzel do it? Well, this guy Fritzel was very lazy. And so he tried to magically get the broom to do the scrubbing of the floor for him. And could he do it? Well... He clapped his hands together three times. One, two, three. Good. And sure enough, what happened? The broom went out, and it came back with water in each hand in a big bucket. Wow, hey. That's good. It's not so good. Why not? Because back and forth, back and forth, went the broom for water, each time emptying the pail of water onto the kitchen floor. Uh-oh. The broom is going to doom the room. <laughs> yes, the broom is going to doom the room. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth went the broom. Monotonous, isn't it? Monotonous? Well, yeah. Back and forth, and Fritzel suddenly realized he did not know how to stop the broom from carrying all this water and dumping it onto the kitchen floor. And in desperation, Fritzel seized an axe. What is he going to do? And he chopped the broom. He split it right in half. Good. No, not so good. Why not? Because now the two halves of the broom grew arms and legs. And went out and brought back more and more water. That's just what it says here. There, right there. Poor Fritzel. Well, the room was flooded by the time the sorcerer came back. Uh-oh. And he was mad. And wet. And wet, yes. And with one wave of his magic wand, the room was dry. And then the sorcerer made another wave of some... Fritzel found that he was back in his own backyard. And never again could Fritzel call himself... The sorcerer's appendix. No. The sorcerer's apprentice. No, Fritzel was an appendix. Why do you say that? Because he was removed. Ah. Uh. Hey, 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 let's hear it for the chop. Yay! Strong? Oh, um, I'm very strong. I'm so strong, I could lift an elephant with one hand. <laughs> I don't believe you. Yeah, you find me an elephant with one hand and I'll show you. You know, deserts don't have very much water. And if you lived in a desert, you would be thrilled if somebody said they were going to take you to an orchard. Because an orchard is a place where there's lots of fruit trees. And where there's trees, there might be water for you to drink. And where there's fruit trees, there might be fruit, like figs, for you to eat. Well, in this Arabic game song, which I learned from Professor Rossi of UCLA, the Arabic children are thrilled because they hope a little bird will fly them to an orchard where there'll be water to drink and figs to eat. And you can come along with us. It's a clapping song. Let me hear you clap like that. Good. Everybody, sing and clap along with us. Come on. Please, little bird, fly, fly. Come, little bird, fly, fly. If you do, take me to hide and joy. True.
going to sing the whole thing in Arabic. And you can clap in English. Ya Asfur. Dur, dur. Ya Asfur. Dur, dur. Ya Tair Rani Rani. Alish Nahak Tair Rani. Wadini Lil Basatin. Ishrap Mai. This is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. This is the song that... Charlie, Horace! No, no, stop, stop, stop. Charlie, stop. I want you to go away. Go away. And don't slam the... Door. Hope you enjoyed the show! Buggy out!